Good morning. Please join in singing number 464, I Heard the Voice of Jesus Say. Number 464. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Come unto me and rest. Lay down, thou weary one, lay down thy head upon my breast. I came to Jesus as I was, so weary, worn, and sad. I found in him a resting place, and he has made me glad. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Today is Friday, the third week of Easter. Our Mass intention today is for the sick of the parish, and this Mass is being live streamed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and your blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have come to know the grace of the Lord's resurrection may, through the Lord of the Spirit, ourselves rise to newness of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <clears throat> Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus that if he should find any men or women who belonged to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He said, who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless for they heard the voice but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus by the name of Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying, and in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him that he might regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the, and here he has authority from the chief priests to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel, and I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. Laying his hands on him, he said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me. Jesus, who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately things like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized, and when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus, and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogue that he is the Son of God. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go, Go out, out to all, all the world and tell the good, good news. news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go, Go out, out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness towards us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Father, your blessing. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go and proclaim the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, my blood true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, so I have life because of the Father. So also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said were teachings in the synagogue in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Go to that man because he is an instrument of mine. The reason Christ commissioned Ananias to go and meet Paul. At that time, his name is Saul. So today, my friends, we are like Paul. And sometimes we do things without knowing what we are doing. But God's ways are not our ways. Even at the moments when we have gone astray, we do like Paul, the, the, we do like Saul, but still God is looking in you. We are like uh, the lost sheep. He's searching for us to transform our lives, to change us from bad ways of life to good ways of life. <coughs> so when God touches our lives, he changes us completely. It's a very uh, a strong change, both spiritual, physically, emotionally, and even socially. Today we hear Saul. Now he has come to learn that the risen Christ was with him, even at that time what he was doing, all those things. Now he wants to use him as his instrument to proclaim the good news. My friends, sometimes it's very difficult to encounter those people whom we feel, hmm, can I go and tell him that way? No. Who is going to tell Putin now stop fighting? Who is going to tell uh, those leaders who are fighting to stop fighting? And that's why Pope Francis invites us that all Christians and brothers and sisters with good faith, let us pray and let God himself intervene of what we experience in our life especially for those countries which they have wars. 
Because works has nothing to bring to our life. It's destruction. Instead of living together as brothers and sisters, now we are fighting. Is that the message God has sent us to this world? No. He created us with his love. He created us with a special mission. Go and proclaim the good news. Go and be good people. Learn from me. He created out of love. But what happened now? What are we doing now? We have to come back to where our resource is where our originality is, is all about God. Where you see things are not going in the right direction, remember there is another way where you can find life, peace, reconciliation, and mercy. By doing that, come to Jesus. He's our way, he's our truth, no matter what we do. And that's why he's telling us, come to me, always. Come and eat me. Those people, they say, no, will not come. Because they were not transformed. They were not changed like Saul. But once you see him in the eyes of faith, in the eyes of love, and in the eyes of forgiveness, you learn what does it mean. To eat the body and blood of Christ. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of the sacrament of Holy Communion, the sacrament of love, and the sacrament of unity. And for this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to have faith that, like in the life of Saul, Jesus always has the power to transform us into the men and women God created us to be, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to be continually thankful for the gift of Jesus' presence in our lives, through his gift of his body and blood, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of our Ascension family to joyfully celebrate Mass as a faith family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world leaders to seek peace through justice for all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to recognize the desire that God has placed in our hearts to know him better through prayer, reading scripture, and sharing his love with others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to live our vision to be a thriving, spirit-filled faith community, transforming lives for Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will come our spiritual drink. Let's be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church, 
Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is fully right and just to add it in our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us, ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more. The lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of this new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we mm. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, pray throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bill, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us us this day our our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles of peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you in the spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
the crucified is risen from the dead and has redeemed us. Alleluia. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Gary, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. For those who are watching online also, thank you for your prayers and for your participation. We are called to be like Anania. Though you are afraid with those people whom we cannot confront them because they are very dangerous, remember, once God has commissioned you to do something, he will give you also the power to make that happen. Don't fear by the grace of God. So we are called to proclaim the good news. And sometimes the good news starts where we are. We are called to be messengers to the good news, to our family members, to our community, to our church, and even to the whole world. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing the second verse of number 464, I Heard the Voice of Jesus. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Behold, I freely give the living water, her thirsty one, stoop down and drink and live. I came to Jesus, and I drank of that life-giving stream. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, and now I live in Him. 